Hey, what's up guys, Quinn here. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're gonna be rehabbing the Waterbox 20 Cube Saltwater Reef Tank. The last time you guys have seen this tank was in my previous apartment in Chicago. However, we are now in my classroom. So I've really fallen behind with some of the maintenance on this tank with the start of the school year and just my busy schedule. I am ashamed. But the fish are doing fine, but the tank itself is not looking too good. So I'm gonna walk you through the rehab process here and get this tank looking right. But before we get into that, as always, please hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate your support and let's dive right in. All right guys, so here are the classroom aquariums. This fish room has been four years in development and has gone through a ton of changes over these past four years. But overall, doing pretty good, but always room for some improvements, specifically right here. All right, so as you can see, the tank is not looking great right now. Filthy, absolutely filthy. I've been just swamped at the start of the school year, football coaching, and I'm finishing up grad school at the moment. However, the parameters are still looking decent, so the fish and coral are still doing okay. I've been wanting to rehab this tank for some time now, now that it's in a permanent location in my classroom. I decided to keep it here instead of my apartment because I have way more resources in my classroom and I'm constantly moving apartments in the city. I can also start brewing my own RODI water and salt water here instead of lugging the jugs all the way up to my apartment. So the plan of action is to take the fish out for a bit as I deep clean the entire tank. We're gonna be clean! I need to take the rocks out to scrub them down, clean the algae off the glass and sand, change out the water and vacuum the substrate, and then clean the equipment in the tank. The rocks have quite a bit of hard circulid worms. I got worms. I beg your pardon? Which don't do any harm to the tank, but aren't necessarily aesthetically pleasing. I had to scrape them off using a flathead screwdriver, which was a pain. After the water was drained, equipment was clean, and the rocks were scraped, it was time to start filling the tank back up with fresh salt water. In hindsight, I should have put the rocks in before, but we're not always perfect. So I got the new fresh water in. And the system is up and running here. See the return is going. Got a new filter sock in here. I also have the MP10 on full blast. Trying to get any remaining particles off the sand before I put the fish back in. So as you can already see, huge difference already. See all those particles that are about to get trapped into the filter. The next day. Next, to give this tank something new for its fresh start, I decided it was time to splurge on some new pieces of coral. I went to my great local fish store that had a great selection.
so here is the finished product. You can see I have a new rockscape in there. I cleaned off all my rocks and I also got this new donut shaped size live rock here I put in the front. So I like the scape a lot more already. There's way more spots to put coral and it sort of climbs to the top of the tank there. You can see the fish are doing well, enjoying the fresh new clean tank. So starting off with our new arrival here, we have a gold hammer. This one was quite large in the fish store, a lot more mature than the green one I already had. But this is only one day after purchasing it, so it's still not totally opened up. This thing's going to be a behemoth. And then underneath, we have an orange torch. It's not very colored up just yet, and is obviously smaller than the gold. But I'm excited for that color to go with the existing neon green uh, hammer that I already had. So I really like the hammers, so I'm planning on making this a primarily hammer tank. Stop, hammer time. You can see that I actually still have one of the A-cans from the previous scape. The only other type of coral I might get is I might do a Zoa garden on this front rock here, but that will probably be down the line. So overall, this tank was not easy to clean. It was way far gone, but as you can see, it cleans up nicely. That dude cleans up good. So I do have my skimmer going. Still trying to find the right air pressure here. It's a little too much right now. Also, one thing that helps this tank run is my return pump there. That is the CJ Synchro Silent. So overall, I cannot be happier with how this tank turned out. I'm so excited for the future of this tank and to keep on purchasing some more coral and make this into a loaded mixed reef tank. So already this is definitely my students' favorite tank. They love the pair of clownfish. And I'm thinking they're loving the new tank as well. Fire shrimp is back there. We'll put some food in and see if it'll come out. All right, so I'm to the point that I am pretty happy with the condition of mostly all my tanks. The fish room is looking great at the moment. The next tank for rehab is the 60 gallon planted tank. So I'm thinking about redoing this whole tank, but I do have a few ideas for this tank. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed rehabbing this tank. I'm so excited for the future of this tank and all the future videos. We'll be sure to keep you updated. Once again, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.